Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Schools with another edition of One Hard Question. Uh, this week's hard question actually came from a student, and um, I read the question and now I can't find it, but I remember the question very well. Uh, the student asked the following. He or she said, um, why don't we have, why can't we have more time for lunch, and why can't we spend more lunch periods outside? Um, and I thought that was a very good question. In fact, I think that was one of the best questions I've received uh, through one art question. Um, and here's the answer. Uh, there is, well, first and foremost, there is no great answer. One thing, one of the things in, sort of peculiar about the American education system is, and I think our culture in general, is how little time we devote to uh, eating our meals, consuming our meals. And um, I think that's true everywhere, um, in, ev in, all, in all realms. And uh, it's interesting that um, when I was a high school principal, we had a lot of foreign exchange students, obviously, and we even kept a foreign exchange student from Brazil for a year. And one of the common denominators amongst all these foreign exchange students was their shock, shock at two things. One, the amount of testing we do, and two, how little time they have had to eat lunch. And I th always thought that was really interesting. Um, their lunch times were much longer in their countries. And I think that's true in business also in, outside of the United States. And I think part of the reason why this happens is we've got, um, we've got so much in public education that's new or, or ha has been added since 1900. We've added so much to our public education system. Uh, and I could go through the list with you, but it's a lot, and I, so I won't bore you. But it includes things like CTE, health and PE, uh, driver's ed, um, you know, and I'm just touching on a few of those things. There's been, there's so much. And what happens is it turns into this competition for time. And, um, you know, everyone wants more time. Music wants more time. CTE wants more time. Arts wants more time. English, writing, reading, they want more time. Math, want, everyone wants more time, but we have the pie is only so big. We can only cut that pie so many different ways. And technology to that as well. You know, you can only cut the pie so many ways, but that's part of what's happened, I think, within our, our education system is we add, 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 and we have, you know, lots of standards, 1,865 standards to be exact in Virginia, but there's only so much time in the day. And so what ends up getting, uh, you know, sort of cut as a result? Lunch, recess, you know, things like that. So, um, and I don't know what the fix is. I truly don't. Um, I, um, I am a big advocate for it, allowing kids to eat outside as a principal and uh, superintendent, uh, not necessarily in Fauquier, but in other places. I always advocated for that. Let the kids go outside and eat, uh, get some fresh air. Uh, talk to their friends, etc. So I think that is important. And if for students out there who might be listening to this, talk to your principal. You know, they're they're, they're pretty open-minded people. Talk to them about the more opportunities to go outside and whatnot. But as far as the time piece, I don't know that there is a fix to that. I'm and I wish there was, but it, there. It, I know that the battle that rages behind the scenes as far as time to do stuff, time to cover curriculum, and and and. At the same time, not having a school day that's too long, um, because students nowadays are involved in so many things after school, extracurriculars, uh, jobs, you know, arts, etc. There's just there's so much going on. So, not a great answer to that question, but it's a very good question and and something I, I was glad to actually hear the question because it gets me thinking about these things and maybe some out of the box approaches to having more time for meals and being outside and whatnot. So. Hope this is helpful to you. Uh, thanks for the great question. Have a good day.